I wasn't even planning to film anything today because I wanted to take a day off. I hadn't taken a day off in three months and I've been traveling already. So I went to the supermarket, I bought some food, I came back, I had breakfast and then I went out just for a walk and I see this beautiful church and I look and there's like a shop kind of thing. I go inside and there are these people selling this and I asked like, what is this? Is this every day? And they said, no, it was yesterday and today. So they're like a pop-up shop and it's a vintage shop. So they sell all of these things with the kilo. A kilo is 15 euros. This is my first experience in a vintage shop. And the reason is I just never liked the idea of clothes that have been worn by other peoples that I have no idea who they are and putting it in my body just grossed me out. I was always just much more comfortable wearing a brand new thing and I know that it's mine rather than vintage stuff because I don't really know where it comes from or if the owners are dead or I don't know I just felt it was I didn't have a good energy I just didn't know what to expect so I never really went into these shops or bought anything. And the reason why I came into this shop is not because I was looking for clothes, but because of the venue. You see, in my time in Holland, I have seen a lots of churches converted into restaurants, some type of a venue, and this is an old church that is converted into a shop. And that was a little bit of a shock for me because I come from a very Christian country and it was disturbing for me to see. But then I ask, why do they convert their churches to venues like this or to restaurants? And they told me that there are so many churches in Holland and not a lot of worshippers. So they convert the spaces to a different use. That's why they are used like this. So I thought about it in a positive way and said at least they're not tearing them down and they are finding a purpose and use for them. For my taste, instead of making them clubs and restaurants, I would have preferred it to be a museum, a kitchen for poor people, a homeless shelter, a cultural center, even a kindergarten. But it's not up to me and for them it works very well. Even though I feel a little bit guilty to be in here, it does not feel like a church at all. It just feels like a normal shop where they sell kimono, dresses, jeans, uh, hats and shoes and jewelry and all of these stuff. And this space uh, becomes a shop sometimes and other times they convert it into something else. So they just use this place like a venue. And since I am a guest in their home, the same thing I would like them to do for me is when they come to my country, to respect my culture and the way we do things, I will do the same for them. Overall, it was a very interesting experience. And to my surprise, I completely fallen in love with everything that is in here. So many great stuff that you don't find in shops. So many cool stuff. And I will definitely be buying more stuff from Vintage Store from now on. I came out just to see this place, but I ended up with all of these things. My plan was after this, I was gonna go back to Germany, uh, drop my things and change clothes because everything I have is for winter. But now that I have this, I don't even need to go to Germany. I don't need to waste time and money. I already changed my whole closet for 40 euros. I bought, I don't know, like 10 shirts and two pants. So yeah, I will show you when I get on. Okay, here's the bag. And then I'm just gonna put me here. So you can see everything I bought. Let's see, so they tie it like this. You're, you buy this not by the amount of clothes, but it's by the weight. So let's see how much weight I bought. I paid like 20, uh, 40 euros. 40 euros, if you go to Zara, that's what, like one shirt. So, shirt number one. Like this one as well, shirt number two. Jeans from Guess. <laughs> it's a post. Yeah, but I love them because they're super cool. Another jeans, also very nice. Somebody else enjoyed these pants. I don't know.
don't know who uh, because this these are like used clothes like we call it in Ethiopia salvage so another shirt another shirt so they are all like men's shirts but the um, the bigger it is the better whenever I buy clothes I buy them big because uh, just to mind you I have bought clothes in a few years I didn't buy clothes in a few years uh, whenever I buy clothes I make sure that they are very wide and very big if they're dress or whatever I always take oversized if it's shirt I try to take like a men shirt because then I'll buy it whenever I go home my father can use it my mother can use it my grandmother can use it I can use it then everybody can share the clothes you know so it's not just for me because if I buy my size then nobody will be able to use it and it makes no sense to spend money on just for me so another shirt and another shirt <laughs> they're all men shirts but I think my father also will like them because they're very cool very different or like XXXL very big size 45 size or something but it's cool I also bought these pants these are also the size is gone it's L but they're very big but they have um, a plastic here so I can I can tighten it up and it's perfect it's perfect because it's light it's it's nice for the summer it's big and I can use it when I, when I go home I can give it to my mom she can use it even my dad can use it it's long enough and it's wide enough it's big enough it's not it's a unisex pants so it's perfect so I got this one and the only thing that I bought that was my size and they didn't have it in a bigger size was this dress the word of the day will be clothes clothes in Amharic is lips lips it's close trying them out to show you this is the jeans okay this is a little bit big for me but I think with the belt it will be fine and so it's good and the shirt is also really nice it's very big you know like I just put it in there and then look so nice so stylish and I got my mascara here about the brand it's not about it's not about the brand it's having a style and baby I got style look at this hmm? multi-purpose everybody can use it it's very cheap and it looks amazing yeah just gotta know when you know when you know you know so a kilo is 15 euros if, if I didn't buy these two jeans I could have bought 20 more shirts because the shirts are very light and they're they you can put them in more and they're very light 10 items for 40 euros I mean <laughs> I don't know what to tell you I mean I mean I mean I mean I did a good job I did a good job very satisfied with my shopping I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next video. Bye.